Everybody makes friends around here. Now get out and scare people. Gosh, I don't want to scare anybody. I want to be friendly. Good morning, Mr. Bull. out for that wicked old wolf.
ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. The wolf, he might look at him with fright, but we think he's all love him so. Minus the deductions, it's uh, six, five, eight, and one. That's uh, one thousand eight hundred and fifty-six dollars. Oh, how am I ever going to raise that kind of money? Hello, creepers, old chum, old buddy, old pal. How about lending me a sawbuck? I got a heavy date tonight. Cheapers, what a time to ask me for money. I can't even pay my income tax. Why, it's simple. Just ask your boss to advance you some dough. I still owe him the money I borrowed for last year's taxes. Gee, I almost forgot. I might have enough here to pay for the first installment. Jeepers, how could you? You wouldn't want a friend to go without eating, would you, pal? Maybe I can sell my overcoat. My overcoat? It's gone! Sorry, chum, but I had to hawk your coat to get you your birthday present. I guess I'll just have to throw myself on the mercy of the tax collector. It's my fault you're in this mess. But I'll think of something to get you out of it, buddy. Creepers! I'm gonna get that dough for you after all! Now keep that left up. Give me the old one-two punch. And don't forget the old footwork in there, buddy boy. In this corner, the undefeated Killer McClout! Get me out of here! And in this corner, the challenger, Kid Creepers, who will attempt to stay one full round with the killer. Get in there and win that dough! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Just a minute, killer. You know, it's against the law to hit a guy with glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gosh, I'll be late for work. Creepers, you only got a couple of seconds to go. collect your delinquent income tax. I am happy to say, sir, that I have more than enough to take care of it. Then there's the penalty for not paying your tax on time. 
And there's the interest on the money you owe. There. I just made it. Not quite. You still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Look, Creepers, what did I tell you? But, but, but I never rode a horse in my life. With me in there to help you, bunny old boy, you're having a thing to worry about. That's just what I'm worried about. You still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Gentlemen, I would like to discuss the drastic decline in the profits of the Jonathan Grizzly Enterprises. There is a decided drop below our record level. In the first month, profits declined 1%. In the second month, it was 2%. Then three. Then four Zs, five Zs, six Zs, seven Zs, eight Zs, nine Zs. <coughs> now, gentlemen, let's see if we can't come up with a solution. Well, the way the dividend well, process uh, yes, is going to be. I uh, quite agree with you. Oh, yes. it's a recession. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> J.G., uh, sir, uh, we think we have solved the problem. Very good. Excellent. Meeting's adjourned. <laughs> I take your hat and cane, sir? Oh, yes, uh, my cane. Uh, thank you. Hello, J.G. Hello, dear. Son, how were things at the... I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> What's with him? Uh, uh, J.G.? What do you want? Uh... Can't you see that I'm busy? My dear, you've been working too hard. Perhaps Dr. Dumkoff, the psychiatrist, could help... Why, a man would have to be crazy to go to one of those... Huh? I would like to put you through several tests and see if you have any suppressed desires, frustrated inhibitions, or schizophrenia of the brain. Why, you numbskull, I'll take any test you want and prove that I'm absolutely normal. We shall see. Now, I want you to make me an ink lot and tell me what you think it represents. Now, tell me. What do you see? Va 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 voom! Well, I guess we're both normal on that. Yeah. <laughs> and now for the next analysis. Do you dream that you could fly like a birdie in the sky? Your question, sir, is idiotic. With dreams like that, I'd be psychotic. Is your personality split, good or bad? Which is it? Why, you quack, you hurt my pride. You think I'm a Jekyll and Hyde. When you was a little lad, was your childhood gay or sad? Since the day that I was born, I've been miserable, wretched, and forlorn. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. You have some kind of infantile neurosis. And in order to find out what it is, you must relive your childhood. Relive my childhood? And you are now 
a little child again. Here is the old neighborhood where you was brought up in as a little kid. Golly gee, what a dan dan dandy toy. Hmm, very interesting. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up, horsey! Give me my toy! <laughs> And were you a good little boy this year? I was a good little boy this year, Santa. Look, mister, how cheap can you get? These toys are only for kids. I'm a kid and I want a toy. Hmm. I'm beginning to dig that crazy mixed up kid. Son, that's a mighty fine toy you have there. Uh, let me show you how it works. Give me that. It's my toy. You can't have it, or you'll break it. I want my toy. I want my toy. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. I want my toy. You are once again JG. Where am I? Well, you had a severe case of toy phobia caused by your old man never allowing you to play with your own toys. I see it all now. By George, Doctor, I'm cured. By golly, they sure make interesting scientific toys these days. Let me see if I could make it work. No, no, you, you're liable to break it. You think I'm so stupid I couldn't lay me the toy? That's right, and now you just keep your hands on the toy. I'm not stupid. Give me that toy. How silly can you get? <laughs> Two grown-up men playing with toys. I'm glad I'm cured. One Z's, two Z's, three Z's, four Z's. The next contestant is little Casper, who will sing a haunting refrain. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. I couldn't be bad or mean. I love the play, sing and dance so well. Oh, 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 scare people. I want to make friends.
be short, but I'll bet it's strong enough to carry that log. Do you really think so? Why, sure.
Fright. Here. Spooky. Here. Casper. Here. on the throne. And here to greet you is your good friend, Spike. I hear catnip, old pal. Spike! Hey, catnip. Remember the time we were both romancing the same chick? Yeah. I'm in the mood for love <laughs> simply because you're near me. Adored, lost control, and tumbled overboard gladly. <laughs> Chum, you sure are a sucker for a left. Catnip, your three pals, Reuben, Dubin, and Louie. Hiya, Catnip! Hello, fellas! Sidekick Buzzy to pay his respects. Hello, Catnip. Buzzy, my friend. Catnip, remember the time you had a cold and I tried to cure it? <laughs> Hold it, boss! Boss, the best way to cure that cold is to use the inhalator. Hmm. That sounds logical. This will clear your head right up. Take a good, deep breath. <laughs> well, that's the end of that cold. <laughs> it didn't work. I took out the toad. You discouraged us too easy, boss. As my sainted granny used to say, there's nothing like a good hot drink to bust up a bad head cold. <laughs> this is a surefire remedy, boss. Mm. You sure are a fall guy for a gag. And here's 
your lifelong buddy, Herman. Greetings, Catnip. My best friend, Herman. Catnip, remember the time we was having a jam session and... <laughs> Future look black. Do you have jangled nerves? Are you going to pieces? Well, then pull yourself together and take a vacation in the Catskill Mountains. Yeah, a vacation. That's what I need. At
about it. They're having ice cream and cake. Cake? They're coming, Ma. Now here's Oscar's birthday present. <laughs> Dear, goodbye, Ma. <gasps> My baby. Here's to Oscar. Hip, hip, hooray. A friend to the end. Oscar's OK. Oh, my gosh. It's that dopey Huey. Yeah, the village Frankenstein. What a goon. Here comes your present, Oscar. Oh, boy. Cake. Um... Nobody gets any cake till Oscar makes a wish and blows out the candles. See? We hope you get your wish, Oscar! I'll blow them out for you, Oscar! <gasps> Get rid of that bird brain. Hey, fellas, I got an idea.
target. Happy birthday, Oscar. It's the fox! Run for your lives! Why those double-crossing little brats? Uh, am I still getting hot, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they fooled me. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> uh, Buster, how would you like your own birthday party? My own birthday party? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Patty cake, patty cake. One, two, three. Bake a birthday cake. Just for me. First get a pan that's full of dough. And into the oven, it must go. <laughs> ah, that duck meat is like music to me nostrils. Uh, here, see if it's done yet. Yeah. <laughs> Party games. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Take the key and lock her up, lock her up, lock her up. Take the key and lock her up. Gee, that was fun. Let's play some more games. Now, Fatso, in play and follow the leader, you do just like me. Oh, boy, <laughs> this is fun. Catch more flies with candy than with vinegar. Uh, hey, pal! Where are you, pal? Oh, pal! Hey, uh, Buster, a birthday present from me to use. Oh, peppermints, my favorite candy. Hey, pal. Dear, I saved the piece for you. Hooray for Yui! Our very best friend, the Outfox the Fox. Yo! Who got it in the end? Oh.